Our campaign 2016 coverage continues now with the very latest on the presidential race. New video of this morning of Hillary Clinton and her husband arriving at their polling station in Chappaqua, New York, to cast their ballots. Both Clinton and Trump are planning victory parties for later today, just blocks away from each other in Manhattan. In the meantime, Trump has made a last second appeal to some New England voters, dropping some big names in the process. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Ocona is live in our newsroom now with the details. Danielle, good morning. As both candidates made their way through some key states yesterday, Donald Trump was in New Hampshire just last night, and he knew exactly what to say to rile up that crowd. He received a tremendous applause as he was on stage, saying that Patriots quarterback Tom Brady called him earlier in the day, saying the Republican candidate had his support. Well, here's the latest development we're tracking this morning. We're learning Tom's wife, Giselle, was then inundated with comments of criticism on Instagram. One person asking outright if she and Tom support Trump. She replied, no, with an exclamation point. Trump also read a letter that he claims is from coach Bill Belichick. That too got a lot of applause last night. This morning, we're pulling two pieces of audio for you from that rally. The first is Trump talking about Brady. The second is Trump reading from that letter from coach Belichick. He called today. And he said, Donald, I support you. You're my friend. And I voted for you. So he writes, Coach Belichick, congratulations on a tremendous campaign. You have dealt with an unbelievable slanted and negative media and have come out beautifully. And just this morning, one Boston radio station tweeting that the Patriots tell them they will not be making any comment about Trump's comments. In the newsroom, Brian Nicono, Eyewitness News.